Hi, hi. Welcome to the um, monthly, the weekly energies for the first week of June. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the birthday readings for the Geminis who are having birthday between um, um, the 3rd of June and the 9th, okay? Between the 3rd of June and the 9th of June, okay? So we have the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Okay, so let's see what is happening. This energy, um, weak energy is the energy of fire. Okay, it's the energy of fire. So let's look at you, Geminis, your real Geminis. You are the third capital Gemini. So for the people who were born on the third, you have your own energy vibration reading. Um, the energy of the hair sign, and this is good. Then we have the energy of the tower, which is the energy of the week. The energy of the tower, which is the energy of the week. And that is good. We have a victory. Um, um, there is a wonderful energy. The energy of the devil is coming up for the person who was born on the 8th. Wheel of Fortune, people who were born on the 9th. So remember again that the energies that are here is going to affect all of you guys okay so the energy that is here is going to affect all you guys now the beautiful thing about your year because this is your year reading so it's from this birthday 2019 until your birthday 2020 so that's why i'm always saying to people you know get a birthday reading because then you will know what exactly is coming up now each and every energy here is going to affect you so if you were born from the third four fifth six seven eight nine what is going to be transpiring is that each and every one of these energy is going to be affecting you in the year okay so be aware of that and be understanding of that and understand what is going on so some of you will have new starts but be careful um on this new start because um there is um obstacles um there is a snake at your foot so be careful because there is some jealousy and people who are trying to um you know break you from moving forward then we have the energy of uh, the luna the uh, secrets so a lot of people are going to be realizing and understanding something is going to be coming out the energy of the tower is here where there is some deceptive move that has transpired and has taken place the energy of the hamper is here and whatever the situation is is that um this energy of the emperor is that um there is there was a deception in an organization for some of you and you're going to be overcoming um, a situation okay then we have the energy of the devil where um, some of you are walking away from a situation but this little energy is trying to keep you back but you're going to be finding a way to get out of it now this year is going to be a year of abundancy for a lot of you guys um, I'm seeing some secrets there's something and some secrets about a move or car um something some secrets are are some hidden agenda is there but it's not going to work there's a conspiracy and some hidden agenda but it's not going to work so be aware of that okay um whatever this situation that is transpiring i'm seeing the energy of the lovers and i'm seeing people returning also um past love are going to be returning um because this is a year reading so expect the people from your past you could be returning to past love so um be aware of this because the energy is showing up here so um it's going to be a year of abundancy um it's going to be really positive and you know at some stage in the year these things are going to be happening to you guys that's something suddenly um release out of your life um, um some power struggles and that all that situation is going to be happening to you guys but it's as if things some secrets some hidden secrets and some deceitfulness and hidden secrets is going to be transparent and happening also so you've got to be aware of okay so let's look at the people who were born on the third the people who were born on the third um, I'm seeing the energy of um, 
some of you have turned your back on a situation and you're moving forward so it's gonna be a year where this is coming up for some of you um, that you decide to turn your back on a situation and, and decide to move forward okay and that is turning your back on the Queen of Cups some of you have turned your back on the Queen of Cups and you decide to move forward okay whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring um, it could be this person is your mom or this person is someone in a relationship or a girlfriend but um, definitely you decide to turn your back on this person and you're moving forward now this could be um, a nurturing energy that you could be dealing with and whatever this nurturing energy is is that um, you decided whatever the situation that was playing out you are letting this go okay some of you are going to be finding out that this person um, for um, the, the people who were um, born on the fort um, you're going to be finding out who have been your enemies for quite some time okay so whoever these people are in this situation is some of you in this year um, from uh, after your birthday until your next birthday is going to be finding out who your enemies are and you're turning around but the nine of Pentacles you're going to be receiving a lot of money okay you're definitely going to be receiving a lot of money uh, money is coming up for you as we look at the people who were born on the fifth um, we're seeing the energy of unexpected something unexpectedly is going to be moved out of your life something unexpectedly is going to be moving out of your life and you men um, something um, you young men between the ages of 18 and 45 it could be you um, that something unexpected that happens to you there could be an accident there could be um, crash there could be so many things but it could be also if you um, are a father there could be an accident with your son that is you know going to be moving out of your life the tower energy the Prince of Swords what is that yes um, so yeah uh, sad news but um, whatever the, the situation is <laughs> it's really a sad news but um, this can be happening but it can so also be for some of you it's a transition it's a release being released from a situation that no longer serve you so it's a transition it's that something that has been holding you back is you're you're releasing it and this is going to be good we have the energy of the hamper and this is all about work for the people who were born on the six um, congratulations this is a, a wonderful powerful energies to receive because some of you are going to be working on your financial stability some of you are going to be making sure um, that you balance out work and um, and, and uh, work and, and fun so um, this is going to be good so let's see um, what exactly is transpired I'm seeing you turning your back and moving away um, from an organization okay so or from people in authorities it's as if you're saying um, this is it I'm ending this. this this is it I'm ending this it's um it has cost me um, so much and you're turning your back and you're going to be victorious and successful um, you are going to be um, a lot of you are going to be having success at work if you notice these two success okay number 77 meaning you're on the right part seven is that uh, yes you are on the true and right part and that is what is um, the transition what you should do okay so let's see what else is going on we have the energy of the chariot and with the energy of the chariot let's see what is transpiring you're fine and balance and some of you could be dealing with the Virgos but some of you could be also balancing the masculine and feminine side of you some of you could be fine and balanced with family situation in this year and that sort of a thing some of you could be a really really fine and balance of how to deal with situation there could be a lot of move moving that is going to be happening a lot of transition and um, this you are going to be finding balance to deal with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person okay so 
definitely so some of you are definitely going to be dealing with the um, the herb sign people um, I'm seeing uh, this situation of uh, a situation with herb sign people are coming up that you're dealing um, with and you're going to be finding balance to deal with these people and these situation we have the energy of um, the devil and with the energy of the devil um, we are looking at the people who were born on the eight and it has to do with the king of cups whoever this king of cups is this person is definitely in the reverse whoever this king of cups is this person tried to do something but it didn't work out and the king of one so these two people you have to be aware of so some of you are going to be in coming in contentment with um, and finding out that a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio and the Aries Leo or a Sagittarius these men are both over the age of 50 have tried to do something but it didn't work out it's as if um, they're going to be trying to set up a thing there but it didn't work out okay um, it's so sad because um, <laughs> Um, it's, 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 it's um, sad for you to see these people because you're going to be finding out what these two people have done um, these two people could be going to jail um, because of what they have done what they have done was um, was illegal and wrong and they could be going to jail okay um, there is a huge possibility and um, so you guys who were born on the 8 whoever these people are they could be coming up as business partner um, business partner managers um, um, people in organization and, and, and that sort of a thing whatever they did they have been found out okay the wheel of fortune congratulations for the people who were born um, on the ninth you are going to get a really wonderful fabulous year okay it's going to be a really wonderful a fabulous year of what has happened and what has transpired um, the energy of the star is in reverse no need um, to worry about that because they're saying um, you have had fate and now all your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true oh my god look at this ladies and gentlemen oh am hey this is so beautiful this is so beautiful okay when the star is upright it is saying you know have faith in the universe but now the star is in the reverse and it's saying you have had faith in the universe that the universe would have um, resolved this issue and the universe have resolved this issue and you will be hearing good news now I want to stop for a moment um, some of you are going to be receiving um, extra help from family okay some of you are definitely going to be receiving extra help from family and this is going to be good because I'm going to be realizing that a family um, some of you are going to be realizing that family is really 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 um, going to be supporting you so remember that this is the year reading and this year reading is going to affect each and every person that is vibrating in the same energy vibration as the week so your birthday begins on um, the, the the third until the ninth all these energies in this week is going to be affecting you guys throughout the year okay throughout the year um, it is a wonderful year you guys have number 77 you guys have number 77 whatever the situation is and whatever the energy is you guys have number 77 um, 77 7 is that you're on the right part you're going on the, in the right direction uh, on the right part going in the right direction um, that is what is transpiring so um, that is um, good because um, when we have the number seven energy it is you're on the right part and the outcomes will exceed your exceptional the number seven is a sign that divine magic is supporting you and opening doors of opportunities so that is so good um, this is just so powerful because if you notice the alignment of these energies is that 
the energy of the chariot is moving forward a lot of you if you are planning on um, changing your car it's going to be a good year um, to change your car okay it's going to be a good year to change your car so this is good and this is why I advise people to always um, ask for a year reading so that you can understand what is going on and I love you Gemini so much my best friend is a Gemini and I, I you know I really love you Gemini so much I have a lot of people a lot of people who I'm connected who are Gemini's and really nice people keep up the great work everything you're doing um, right now as the magic touch and as the Midas touch so it's gonna be a year where whatever you guys um, decide to do whatever you guys decide to do it's gonna be just such a wonderful powerful year that is going to be bringing you forward um, and it is going to be brilliant okay so I'm using two decks and these are our, um, this is the beginning of the month and this is why I'm using these two decks which is just so beautiful it's two of my favorite decks um, and the first one we're going to be looking at is the Oracle of the E the Oracle of the E it has uh, hair balls the Oracle of the E is number 41 hair balls um, this is um, the number five energy and with hair balls I'm seeing <laughs> when air balls comes up that means there was some situations some people some situations some issues that was going on and what has transpired is that whoever tried to create obstacles for you or being full um, um, on their faces okay so whoever has cr tried to create obstacles for you have fall on their faces and air ball is also the energy where um, Hairball is also the energy where um, a small little tux, no big, um, no big deal. Last thing you want to do is to get your nickels in that um, net. It will all smooth out as soon as you stop. Take a big deep breath and realize it's time to hand it over to the universe. The Duke the duke to the um, resurrection of moving the obstacles okay so the duke to the um resolving moving of obstacles okay so that's an air ball moment sometimes sounds um there's going to be a little issues that is going to be coming up it's going to be an air ball moment so that is what is happening and then you guys have be assertive okay so you guys need to be assertive whatever is going on into this week you need um to be assertive you need to stand your grounds you need to say this is um this is how far you go with me um, stand your grounds to whatever the situation is and whatever is happening you need to be very assertive and let people know how far um, they can um, come and uh, you know stand your ground some of you are going to be having situations that calls for you to take matters into your own hands and you must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fullness of your desires so with courage and self-confidence acts for help from your angels and guides without watering down your requests in order to set in, in order to satisfy people so a lot of people and I know you Gemini's because you like people um, to help you uh, to like you some of you Gemini's want people to like you and you will just go and kill yourself off to make other people's happy but you can't do that remember that a scene a scene um, your own need first um, without an apologize okay so see your own need first before apologizing set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and fair environment okay tailor your actions so that you can um, earn the respect from others you deserve and then move forward okay so whatever you're doing do it in moderation but do it um, with assertiveness let people know this is how far you go um, and um, you will be okay I want to say namaste until next time